Hey everybody, it's Ryan, welcome back. So dad pulled the 7600 down in front of the milk house and we got out the power washer. It is a pretty nice day out and being that spring is coming around, I figured that today would be a good day to wash off the 76. It has been our go-to tractor over the winter, so every time we've gone out to feed out bales, usually that's the tractor we use. And uh, especially over the last few weeks with all the mud from the snow melting and all the rain that we've been getting to, uh, it's been pretty muddy when we go to put out bales, so it's kind of covered. And there is quite a bit of bird poop on the hood as well from just sitting in Travis's shed down there. And up here isn't so bad, but the birds are pretty bad down there. So I'm going to wash off the 7600. Now, a few weeks ago, I got in contact, I got contacted by a company that wanted me to do a product review. And you guys who follow me, um, who have been following me for a while, will know that I don't often do product reviews. But I thought that this is something that I could actually use on the farm, especially for washing off equipment. So I asked them to send me some overalls and the company is Tingly Rubber and the overalls are polyester covered with polyurethane, i.e. they are waterproof. So with that, um, I should kind of, kind of reduce the amount of water that I get back on myself by spraying equipment off. And um, I think these will really come in handy, not only for say after harvest when we're spraying off the combine, because cleaning off the combine, you get pretty wet doing that. And uh, especially after harvest, it is pretty cold as well. So I think these will really come in handy. I've been kind of showing them off around Travis and I think he's getting kind of jealous and wants to get a pair of his own. Now, um, this isn't the only thing they sent me. They did send me a shell and a jacket as well. And I'll get to those shortly, but um, I've, I actually wore these before and they're, they don't really inhibit you walking around in any. So. Uh, I've been just wearing them around the farm here and there whenever I felt like wearing them. They are pretty good at breaking the wind, so they got a pretty big main pocket up here. Um, they do have reinforced knees, so I know that on my other overalls the knees are getting pretty wore through. Um, but these are, this is just more meant to reduce kind of splash on you if you're ever spraying anything off. And arguably the most important feature of any overalls is right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these on and uh, I'm gonna get all suited up with the jacket that uh, Tingly Rubber sent me as well. And I'm gonna see just how waterproof these really are. Now I got the overalls on and I must say that I really can't tell that I'm even wearing them. That's why I kind of was wearing them just you know, randomly around the farm on the colder days because it does a pretty good job at breaking the wind and kind of helps keep the wind from blowing through you. So with that, here is the liner. And what the liner is, is part of the clothing system that they have. So if you have the overalls, you have the liner and then you have the shell. Now the shell and the overalls are what keeps you from getting wet. If say you're, it's in the middle of summer and it's really warm, um, part of the whole idea behind the icon system that they call it from Tingly is that you are able to remove layers of clothing, say if it's warmer. And I think that's kind of ingenious with this thing because with that jacket, I can't really imagine wearing like a full coat during the summer. Um, I probably wouldn't just wear anything at all. With this, it's actually pretty lightweight and easy to wear around. And um, the overalls, I think, would be good, say, for like if you're a vet, because it puts a layer between you and whatever you're working with. Or even if you're like a dairy farmer, I think I would have worn these babies all the time if we were still milking cows. But um, I'm not getting down in the manure quite as much anymore. So um, these will be nice to have, say, on a wet day. I know there are a lot of times. In the past, where we've had to get cattle out of what we call the Klein pasture, which is attached to the farm that I live on, and there's been summers where we've been trying to chase cattle out of that pasture, and it's heavy, heavily wooded brush, and um, I would come out of there, out of the other side after chasing the cattle through it, and be completely soaked head to toe all the way down to my boxers. So, um, I, like I said, it, I never really even considered getting something like this, but. I have a feeling that I'm going to be using these quite a bit um, on the wetter days or any time I'm really working with water. So with this, um, the handiness behind the whole sh the liner and shell is that you can remove it uh, in case it is too warm. I am going to put this on because, like I said before, it was a little bit windy earlier 
and it is still kind of windy, but um, it's nice out in the direct sunlight, but I don't know. <sighs> so this just zips up. You can wear any of these individually. I mean, if you're trying to make a fashion statement, um, I wouldn't really recommend it, but uh, even this can be worn separately. I really like the shell and that's the outer layer. I've been wearing that just kind of randomly around um, and it is actually a, like a really nice coat. So I'll go put that on next and then I'll start washing up the 76. Now this shell or jacket is essentially just a heavy raincoat and it's a windbreaker. And I've been wearing it randomly around. What I think is actually pretty nice is that the hood actually folds up into this little pouch right behind your neck. And I'm probably gonna use that, but I'm gonna put it on first. Now this is way lighter than my Carhartt's, uh, my whole setup for my Carhartt, um, including the bibs and the jacket and even my sweatshirt that I wear underneath. This is still way lighter. And I had been wearing them around because they do just as good a job at breaking the wind. So this has two zippers. Um, I haven't really used the second zipper, but being as that I am gonna get a little wet power wash in that, I figured I might as well just zip them both up. And by the time I'm done washing the 76, we're gonna see just how wet I am, what parts of me do get wet, and uh, whether any rain gets, or any water gets through. That's the first zipper. Now, as I zip the second zipper up, they do have an uh, extra flap here that you can tuck in. And what this does is cover the inside zipper. So if you do get sprayed directly with water, hopefully this should help stop the water from coming in. Pretty easy all the way around just to put on. There. Okay, zip it all the way up. And then... All right, so now the hood unfolds, comes right over like that. Now just like that, I am completely covered. Now my face can get wet. I mean, even then, that isn't really a big deal, but the whole idea is to just try to keep my underclothing from getting wet. And um, not it's usually not a huge of a problem, especially when we're just washing the tractors. Um, but like I said before with the combine, it is kind of a big issue, especially when it gets colder out. Um, I think I'll have it pretty easy today. The wind's not blowing quite as much anymore, but um, I'm going to put this thing to the test and just see how waterproof it actually is. So I'm completely covered from head down to my ankles. And I should just be able to tighten up. Right. I'm good to go. All right. Let's go wash the tractor.
She's all nice and clean now. And I have to say this this works awesome. <laughs> I didn't get a drop of water inside at all. So now I, I would just end the video here and say, you know, this stuff works pretty good, but that's not how things go here on how farms work. So I'm gonna push this stuff to the limit. I jimmy rigged something with the power washer, i.e. duct tape the handle, and I'm going to fire that baby up and I'm gonna stand right in it and just kind of sit in it see how wet I get and um, see what happens so I don't know I'm the only one here so I kind of had a jimmy rig it but I'm gonna go fire it up <laughs> I would have done this on an extremely rainy day, but you know, I'm probably gonna wear this plenty of times in the future on rainy days. So, looks like the water seeped in past the first layer uh, around the zipper, not the actual coat. Um, but after the zipper, there is a little bit of moisture in here, but there is nothing on the inside. So I would say it performed pretty satisfactorily. Um, yep, no water whatsoever. I'm sure my neck is a little bit wet, uh, just from where the, well, I sprayed myself. So I'm pretty happy with the coats. Let's see. Well, I must say that the tingly rubber Icon overalls and jackets performed satisfactory and up to my expectations. I really don't have any moisture on me whatsoever. I tried to blow a little bit of water on my cuffs when I was standing in front of the power washer, but I had tightened them down beforehand and my sweatshirt does not have any moisture on the cuffs whatsoever. So I definitely have to recommend them if you guys are really working outside at all ever. And um, if you, for those of you who may have unwieldy brother and sisters who have a tendency to spray you with the power washer whenever you walk by, <clears throat> Travis. <clears throat> but um, I would have to say that I recommend these for you as well. So uh, anyway, um, with that, I will put the link down in the description if you guys are interested in buying these. Um, they are Tingly Rubber Icon, the Icon system, and uh, you can check them out on their website. They're actually pretty cheap compared to my Carhartts. 
And I was wearing these around, the whole setup around when it was like 15 degrees out. And I think that they worked just as good as the Carhartts do. The bibs are a little bit thicker than the Carhartts, obviously, because these are more meant to just break the wind and stop the water. Uh, but I found that they do do a pretty good job at keeping you warm as well. So with that, uh, be sure to head down the description with, even with the whole setup, I'm pretty sure compared to my Carhartts, it was just a fraction of the cost. So they really aren't expensive whatsoever. If you guys are interested, go to their website, check them out. And um, yeah, I hope that someone can make as much use as I'm probably going to use these things as well. So anyway, with that, I will let you guys go. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And I'll see you next time. Well, I guess it's time to start packing out the power washer. What the heck? Where the day